Well, hey there, everybody. My name is Crew, and welcome back to another episode of the Crew Craft Pack. This is some modded Minecraft survival, and we're just gonna be hopping right into it. Look at these. Oh, that's not some. Um, that's not looking good at well. Oh my gosh, what are, what is happening here? Oh my goodness. Jeez, oh man, we have a leak. We have sprung a leak in our roof. This is actually what I'm sort of working on right now. At the moment, I'm sort of trying to light up this place using these cute little charged Certus Quartz fixtures. Look at how cute they are, man. Like, look, this is a normal torch, and then this is the cute little, oh, the cute little fixture thing. Um, but that's kind of annoying. Why did this happen? I was, I was gonna show you how good my house was looking, even though there's a little bit of water up there. And, uh, instead we're getting all these creepy noises. And we're also, where's my crossbow? I'm gonna have to kill some, some blizzes. Anyway, let's head on up here. Booyah, here we go. Where are you at? There you are. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're not welcomed. Anyway, anyway. This is all new to you guys. I just remembered that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is all new to you guys, isn't it? Well, well, anywho, let me get rid of this cobblestone because it's not looking too fresh. Um, this stuff, I'm liking how my house is turning out so far. Um, I've, I've added a new layer and um, I wanted to talk to you guys about it and about our ideas. So the idea that we sort of came up with last episode was this was going to be where the armor spawn, or not the armor spawn, the, the mob spawning, the auto mob spawning system was going to go right about here. And um, I, I thought about it, I, I looked up some, you know, auto spawning designs and sort of stuff, and I came up with this. So what we're, what we're doing here, um, the hard thing about the auto spawner is they spawn the mobs in like a 5x5 five five in every direction. So it's going to be difficult to find a 5x5 five five space in this, you know, little circle that we're building in here. But I managed to fit it in over here, and I'm thinking it's looking pretty swell, I must say so myself. Um, I also went ahead, added in, um, last episode we had, we ended with this floor, so I went ahead, added in these crazy looking wobbly walls. Um, I'm really liking the feel of this room, because this room, you know, it's sort of magnificent, um, and like enclosed, and you know, feels nice and friendly and big and cool. Um, but as we go up, this room, I'm probably going to be spending most of my time in this room right here uh, because it has the tinker's table in it, and I use this stuff a lot. So I'm planning to fit in the tinker's table and uh, maybe some few other storage chests over there. Uh, but I'm going to be using this a lot, so I want it to be, you know, nice and open and looking good. And uh, this way you could also look in from the inside and it looks pretty cool. Let me give you guys this sort of far away view because this thing is looking at pretty spectacular. I want to say thank you guys real quick for all the support on this series. It's um it's pretty cool to know that, you know, people out there watch me just playing some Minecraft and and um I have a good time doing it too. So, thank you guys for that. I also want to apologize for last episode. Um I was super sick and I couldn't really record it all that week. So, it was kind of just a last minute thingy. Uh but hopefully this episode we're going to be getting work done and uh, working on some projects and having some fun. Anyway, here's what the castle looks like now from a distance. Pretty cool, it's coming along I gotta say so. Um, the parts are definitely matching together. Um, if you guys weren't watching the series up to this point, uh, you should know that it sort of started off with the bottom, you know, pillars, and then that goes into the first row, which goes, you know, up about until that line right there. And this new bit I just added on the other day, this nice little swirly up and down. And we're just basically going to keep adding on to it and keep making it look cooler and cooler and cooler and cooler until we reach maximum coolness, which will be all the way up at the top. But today, guys, we are going to be messing around with some guns and some flans mod because those are the new mods that we've added to the pack. A lot of you guys have been recommending what mods we add to the pack, which is really sweet. And, um, you know, as soon as we feel the need to, we will start looking into your guys' comments and adding in the different, uh, the different sort of mods that you recommend to be added to the pack. Because that's the fun thing, man. The whole fun part about this mod pack is that we get to change it whenever we want. So, if you guys have anything that you want us to, um, add or remove or something like that, 
feel free to recommend it. Anywho, anywho, I want to mess around. Um, this magic pencil is pretty cool, by the way. Let me show you guys how it works. So I got these pencil glasses on. That's why I look so funky fresh right now. Um, but as I draw, you can see I can just draw here like this. Um, basically, I'm making invisible barriers. This is like the barrier block. So uh, I can see them right now because I'm wearing the glasses. But if I take the glasses off, completely invisible. And players can't go through them at all, which is kind of kind of really annoying. I can't even place on that level. Um, but mods or mobs and other entities can still go through these blocks. So I don't know about them. They're they're a weird block. They're very weird. I've been messing around with my friends. I've just been placing these uh, these pencil blocks wherever I feel the need to. It's been it's been quite funny. Um, but anywho, anywho, I've I've really liked moving in and you know feeling how it feels to actually live in this place, which is sort of fun. I also went ahead. I moved in the portal down here. Where is it at? There it is. And I've started to light up this room using the nice little light fixtures. I'm thinking it's looking pretty fresh. I'm liking where our house is headed at least and along those lines and I've also went ahead and made a little bit of an auto spawning area around here. Anywho, anywho, let's go ahead and start working and making some planes. Alrighty guys, so Flans mod I'm pretty pumped up for because I have messed around with it before and it is a lot of fun, um, but it's been updated quite a bit and there are some new things. I went ahead, made some of the cool new things that I haven't seen yet and um, there's, there's a lot more stuff. Um, that that's like brand new like like I don't even know well that that's just an engine look at this there are anti-aircraft rockets now um, I believe you can actually craft the different sets of armor and like they're deployable medical kits there's there's all this craziness and um, because this is our mod pack we can also add different flans mod packs um, to the to the to the mod pack if that makes any sense uh, because flans mod it's it's a single mod um, but there are a lot of add-ons to it, so we can add in a bunch of different add-ons. Um, we added in the two basic ones right now here to start it off. I think we added in the basic weapons and also maybe the vehicles. I think that's what we did. Um, but there are all sorts of different things. There's like, there's, um, what, what is there? There's, there's, there's vehicles that we got, um, but then there's also like, oh my goodness, look at this, miniguns. And um, there's like World War II vehicles and stuff like that. Anywho, let's get started um, with some of this cool stuff. So this is a tiger. It's some sort of helicopter. Oh my goodness, this thing looks so cool. Look at that camo on it, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It even has like all these, it has like two guns on the side of it. Oh my, that is, that is pretty groovy. Okay, which one's the pilot seat? Is this the pilot seat? I don't, I can't look around. I don't think this is the pilot seat. Is this the pilot seat? No, that's, I think the front one, I don't know. Who has the little control panel? All right, you have the control panel, so I guess you're the pilot seat. Okie dokie, so let's give this thing, so the guns. All right, so there's a stinger and a driver's gun. Okay, um, unfortunately, I don't have ammo. There's also missiles. How do missiles work? I guess you can drop, oh no, there's bombs and there's missiles. Okay, I didn't know missiles were a thing. Yeah, look at this, stinger missile, hydra missile. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I think tanks work now too. Those are, that'll be fun to mess around with. Okie dokie, fuel, I know how fuel works. I know how this much works. Um, there's also different mech suits, I believe. This might be, okay, that's, that's pretty loud. Um, okay, here we go. Uh, but there's, there's mech suits, I, I believe now. I believe that's some sort of add-on that we could try sometime. Okay, so repair, we're good so far. Oh my goodness, we are, I'm sorry, I'm already, I'm already messing up here. Um, okie dokie, what else is there? There's fuel, okay, this plane doesn't have any cargo. Let's do this! Um, it seems to be locked onto my mouse. What was to turn that off? I can't remember. I don't remember any of the controls, so we're just gonna have to roll with the flow, and I don't know. I don't know, dude. I don't remember what is up. Like, how do I go up? Okay, let's get, okay. Okay, this thing looks pretty big and pretty complex. <laughs> and uh, I I don't have a pilot license, do I? Okay, um, that's to pull back. Oh, look at this sculpture I made for Thomas, by the way. We're over in Thomas's base. I forgot about my snow sculpture that I <laughs> made over here. I don't know why, I just got mad at him one day and I made him this thing. Okay, well, this is fun. I'll have to, um. oh, look at that meteor over there. Let's go over and see it. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, is, I, I don't know what go is. That's my problem. I don't know why this is a problem for me. 
Okay, that's that. Oh, mouse control is now set to false. Okay, but how do I... I don't know how to go up. I'm sort of going up right now, but I don't know why I'm going up right now. Okay, well, this has been a pleasant experience. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, I'm kind of stuck, right? No, no, no! Oh, my goodness. Ugh. <laughs> no! Why? Why does this happen? Oh, my goodness. And now we're not... I don't even know where my stuff... Oh, my goodness. Well, that was fun. You gotta love... You gotta love just dying every so often. That's, um... That's sort of Minecraft for you. Anywho, anywho, I made a couple other McJiggies. Oh, I actually have two sentry guns, don't I? But I wanted to try out these things because these are sort of new and I haven't seen them yet. Um, for the minigun, let me let me search up the minigun here real quick. I believe there's two types of ammo for this minigun. There's there's the normal ammo, and then there's explosive ammo. This explosive ammo looks like a lot of fun, though. Um, unfortunately, it was a little t too expensive. I didn't really have the required resources. Um... But I did make this minigun, man, and let's let's try it out here. So, do I push R to reload it? Oh, we're taking off the clip. We put in the other clip. What do we look like carrying this thing? Oh, I just hold it with one weapon. Or, no, two hands. Two hands on it. Oh, the little handle there. I see. I see. I sort of have to stand like, like this. If I try to... If I look up, it doesn't really work too well. Okie dokie, here we go. Are we ready? We need... Here, I brought a safari net. Do I have anything in it? No, I thought I had a cow... Dang it, man. I need some target practice. Okay, we'll just... We'll shoot at Cacti for now. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. The kick. Look at that kick. Ugh! Holy crap! Look at how fast I'm shooting. I'm trying to broadcast to Twitch. That's how fast I'm shooting. Whoa, you could aim it? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Alrighty guys, well enough, you know, just fumbling around with guns. I thought we would do something useful in today's episode because I did do quite a bit of building, um, but unfortunately I sort of did that off camera. Now this is sort of the final struggle month for me. This is the final, or not really month, this is the final week of school and, and that stuff. Um, so this will be the last episode of sort of bad crew craft pack I would like to say. Um, don't think that these episodes are like terrible. Uh, but I just I could definitely be putting in more time and I definitely should be but I just I haven't simply had the time to do so and so I'm trying my best to you know make a make an entertaining video here on the crew craft pack server um, but I just don't have um, the the most amount of time to record content um, I still try to play on here quite a bit and I have been because I've been building our base up here and I think I think it's coming along it's looking pretty cool and pretty groovy um, but unfortunately I just haven't gotten too much of an opportunity to record however I wanted to quickly go ahead where's our base at come on mountains load up um, but I wanted to go ahead and build some sort of cactus farm because I'm thinking um, I'm thinking about shops and what shops that we want to build and I think it would be pretty cool to do a flans mod shop and to sell weapons and stuff like that especially because currently at the moment um, that's what currently means it means at the moment I was giving you a little vocab lesson there uh, but currently, currently, let me go ahead and grab something from my base. Um, currently, I'm the only person who can build flans guns on the server for some reason. I don't know why, but whenever my friends tried it, I forgot I wasn't wearing my flying pants. Ugh, that did not just happen. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I had a score of three. That's, um, I don't know what that score means. That's like, that's been there forever and it's just, I don't know. I don't know. God dang it, man. Uh, okay. We got to use the backup elevators. Um, but anywho, my shop idea, um, I'm planning, is this the right level? I think this is the right level. I'm planning on doing a flans mod shop because whenever my friends try to make any flans weapons, they just crash. So we're going to be the one providing them with the flans weapon, which is, which is pretty cool. But for flans weapons, you need, I think you need this, where is it at? You need this, this stuff, here we go, the sand and clay mixture, which takes sand and clay, and that gives you fiberglass, um, I think so, is that what we need? Fiber, no, oh, wait, that was, that was it, what was this? Fiberglass, oh, my bad, it's spelled fiberle, okay, um, what do you do? This is what we need for the flans mod, I think? I'm not 100% on this stuff, but that will take clay and sand 
and a bunch of the guns also require cactus so I thought it would be pretty helpful if we set up um, a little a little um, cactus farm of the sorts at spawn we could also grow some sugarcane there um, it won't be anything complicated it will just be something that will always be running and getting a small amounts of uh, getting a small amounts of cactus at times and um, give me my stuff back you you goober I can't believe I died I lost my pants I also lost my um my uh, my cutlass somehow my awesome sword so that kind of stinks we might have to create some new things which will be sort of cool here in the future and we'll make some guns um, anywho I'm gonna get the the materials required I wanted to come down here to grab let me put on my gloves and you and my booties I wanted to grab my wrench there we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead get all the machines that I need and so then we can quickly build this um this uh, oh I guess we could take the helicopter around the town wouldn't that that would be a that'd be a cool way I still don't know how to operate it I'll have to take like somebody should open up a pilot school on the server that would be fun um, but I'm gonna get the required machines and we'll go ahead and build a simple little we'll snag you out of there build a simple little uh a little thingy majiggy alrighty guys well I have my oh my goodness I forgot I'm not wearing the the pants that don't let me take fall damage jeez this is so annoying having to pull out my thing and not ah oh, stupid stupid fall damage um but i made myself a harvester and we got a planter as well we also have some upgrades we are going to make a little cactus farm um where is i forgot my me system is still up here the next level of our house or tower thing by the way um i'm planning on making it a simple machine room so it's not going to be decorated but it's basically going to be this dark room with a bunch of machines in it and um, it'll it'll be like the powerhouse of our tower it'll it'll have all these handy dandy machines and a nice easy source of power and stuff like that so i think that'll be the way to do it there's some rubber cooking what was i meaning to get i completely lost all right yeah i was meaning to enter the me system we got to go ahead grab some sand whoopsies not you not not you you sand there we go um i think we might need some dirt if we're planning on on making sort of the tree farm i think it would be cool if um the tree farm that we were planning on making last episode and that we tested out and i think it's going to work with the trees and stuff like that um, we could do that and then like on the one corner of it we could just have it also harvest up some cacti that would be that would be pretty handy dandy okie dokie let's um let's over head over to spawn now we're planning on making this thing all these sort of farms and stuff I'm planning on making them at spawn and uh, that's simply because of spawn chunks on servers now in case you guys didn't know or you don't know what spawn chunks are that's um servers they only load in the area that you're in this goes for um, single player worlds as well so if you actually build you know at spawn um, then you don't have to worry about it's always loaded spawn chunks are always loaded in so that's what I'm that's what I'm meaning when I say that so let's give you this upgrade chip and what do you what is your range now that's a that's a pretty decent range all right let's um maybe we'll grab ourselves where's our where's our awesome mining pickaxe okay so we'll map it out so uh, this is kind of okay so right here and now I don't know how it actually harvests the um I don't know how it actually harvests the cacti I'm I'm thinking that it only you know pulls it off of the top but I may be wrong it might just totally not work I don't know we'll give it a shot so if we can basically I'm gonna mine out a little area here fill it in all with sand and then we'll see if we can get ourselves some cactus to be harvested. Well, what's really cool about this cactus farm is that I can basically, I don't have to worry about water streams. In the Minecraft game, um, the way cactus farms work is when they grow, you have them, you know, break into a block. And then you have to have some sort of water stream pull the cactus away. But because I'm using a machine here, whoopsies, and I can basically, you know, just harvest any cactus anywhere. Um, I don't have to do that. So that's that's kind of cool. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, well then you're noob skillers. Um, okay, anyway, here we go. I think this is all we got here. Now let's start planting down some cacti. This is going to be the easiest cactus farm I've ever made. They aren't that oh man, I'm already I'm already stepping on you guys, aren't I? They aren't that hard to make though. Alright, so um let's see if this guy can harvest that too high cactus. Or let's see what he does at least. So all of these guys are in its range, I think. Let's test it out. Yeah, they're all in your range, buddy. Um, we'll give you a chest back here. We'll also give you a tank to put your sludge in. 
And now all you need is some power. So we'll plop you down. Are you getting power? You're getting power. I think, I think you have power. Let's see if it harvests this guy. Come on, man. Come on, Cactus, you can do it. Yes! Did you guys see that? Oh my God, it died! That's so cool! That is so cool. So imagine this, you know, they're sitting here and over time they grow up to two high, three high or whatever. You know, it's just like little like that. Well then, they should start getting chopped down. I think, I think it takes a little bit because the way it's working, it's searching every block. So there it goes, it's chopping them down. That's interesting, it only chopped down the top of that guy. Okay, well that's awesome, man. And so it just like, it just pulls it in there right away. Cool, how much power are you taking away? Let's see if when it harvests, if it takes away any power. Okay, when it's not harvesting, it's not taking away power, so that's good. I was worried if I was, like, leaving this machine idle, it would take away power. Well, cool. I am, uh, I'm super happy about this. This is awesome. Um, so this will be here just over time getting small amounts of cacti. Now, I'm also thinking, um, at least at the end here, we could have some sugar cane. Yeah, that's, that's what we'll do. Can we put sugar cane next to cacti? I'm not sure. Um, but down here at the end, we'll have some sugar cane. And this way we can have, you know, nice amounts of sugar cane, um, nice amounts of cacti. And I know these are sort of like boring materials to be collecting and stuff like that. Um, but it'll just be so useful, especially in the long run. We definitely don't need that much cacti. This is going to be sort of overkilling it. Um, but hey, it'll be nice after a while. Uh, this could also, this is a nice little location here. I'm thinking this is where we could do the tree farm. Uh, so that way we can just always be chopping down trees and, and stuff like that. How much sludge are you pumping out? Hopefully not too much sludge, um, or we'll have to build a sludge boiler. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'll go ahead, grab some buckets and maybe some sugar cane as well. We can get planting on those guys. Woohoo! Oh, I, I, not wearing the pants. Alrighty, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, again, I say this at the end of all the episodes because I really want you guys to do it. And, and we have been reading your suggestions. Uh, but please, if you have any mods that you think should be added to this mod pack at all, um, feel free to leave them down there in the comments, and uh, we will we will start adding mods shortly. The whole idea of this mod pack, in case you guys aren't aware, it's um, over time we want to slowly add mods to it. As we get bored um, with the game, and you know we need something new, well then we'll go ahead we'll add some more mods. So if you guys have any you know recommendations or any ideas of cool little mods that you want to see added. Um, feel free to leave those down below and we will add them not not right away because we're we're good right now We got enough mods, but um, definitely in the months coming we will do it um, So I'm pretty I'm pretty pumped up about even if we do something super simple like this This is uh, this is still coolio and check this out man If we start planting stuff on here, it will just completely automatically harvest this all it takes is a little bit of power And we got plenty of power. Yeah, look at that Oh, that is so cool. So cool, man. And it just pumps it out into here, right? Yep. Harvesting the sugar cane and the stuff. So this will always be running, which is also another really good positive. So anyway, anyway, my name's Crew. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And uh, yeah, anyway, be be excited to seeing uh, more better. I'll be, I'll be doing more stuff, more, you know, long hour projects on the Crew Craft server as the summer months come. Uh, but anyway, anyway, Warzone will also be starting up soon, so be ready for that. My name's Crew, I will see you guys next time. Adios.